that she was still a virgin and she gave birth to the baby. But they did not see with the internal eye. <coughs> and today's lecture reminds the speaker and the audience that unless we see with the internal eye, we will be deceived in so many different ways. And then when they saw him die on the cross, before their very eyes, oh, he could not have been the Messiah. Why? He's dead. He's dead. And the Holy Land is under Roman occupation. He's dead. He never ruled the world from the throne of David, alayhi salam. The golden age never came back, but he's dead. And so it is now confirmed beyond the shadow of a doubt. He could not have been the Messiah. What they did not know, and no one knew, for 600 years, no one knew it, until the Quran came down. Was it, no, they did not kill him. No, they did not crucify him. But rather, appearance and reality were completely opposite to each other. And Allah raised him. And one day he's coming back. And when he comes back, regardless of resolutions of the Security Council of the United Nations, when he comes back, he is going to rule the world. He will rule the world with justice. And he will rule the world from the holy state of Israel, built on the foundations of the religion of Abraham, alayhi salam. And that is Islam. And his rule will be eternal. But they did not know that. And so they're waiting for the Messiah to come. <coughs> Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, then informed that Allah had created a being and Allah had committed to that being the mission of impersonating the Messiah. pretending that he is the Messiah. So he is the great pretender. And that he is known as Dajjal. Al-Masih dajjal Dajjal, the false Messiah or the Antichrist. <coughs> dajjal means one who deceives. And so the Antichrist has a PhD in deception. In everything connected with the Antichrist, appearance and reality are opposite to each other. If the Antichrist is to successfully impersonate the true Messiah. It follows that he also must attempt to rule the world from Jerusalem with what would appear to be eternal rule. Only then can he declare, I am the Messiah. If he is to do that and convince the Jews that he is indeed the Messiah, 
then it follows logically number one he would have to liberate the Holy Land for the Jews number two he would have to bring them back to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own number three he would have to restore a state of Israel in the Holy Land and get them to believe that this is the Holy Israel of David and of Solomon of course it would not be it would be an imposter then they would be convinced and finally he would have to cause that state of Israel to become the ruling state in the world only then would he be able to rule the world from Jerusalem and then he can get up and say I am the Messiah and they would believe that he is indeed the Messiah and then he could rub his hands and he can say mission accomplished a give him a six for a nine the Prophet Muhammad <coughs> once suspected that a Jewish boy in Medina was the Antichrist the boy's name was Ibn Sayyad so he took his companion Omar with him to go and question the boy the boy was very uh, disrespectful in his answers and Omar radiallahu ta'ala who was very angry he said oh messenger of Allah give me permission I cut off his head the Prophet said no Omar no if he is the Antichrist you cannot kill him and if he is not then it would be sinful to kill him may I repeat that so it sinks in if he is the Antichrist you cannot kill him and if he is not the Antichrist it would be sinful to kill him implying that the possibility exists that he can be the Antichrist or the job but that possibility could only exist if the Antichrist has been released into the world and so implicit in this event is a message which be which is being communicated to the world that the release of Dajjal the release of the Antichrist into the world took place in the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad <coughs> if he is released into the world then where is he we now come to another intriguing event it is located in the Sunan of in the Sahih of Imam Muslim a companion of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam who was he was Christian he became Muslim his name is Tamim Dari he came to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and narrated 
an event which occurred. The prophet listened and then he said to the people, sit down, I have something to say to you. Tamim Dari came to me and told me something about the Antichrist which confirms what I have been saying to you. And now we get the story from the blessed lips of the Messenger of Allah. What is the story? <coughs> Tamim Dari and some 30 or 40 of his companions went on board a ship. And then the storms came and blew the ship for a whole month before they arrived at an island. And when they got on shore, they got off the ship and they went on shore, they were confronted by a very hairy creature. Plenty hair. So much hair, you could hardly tell which side is head and which side is tail. <coughs> And then this creature spoke and said, I am Jassasa, Jassasa, spy. Surat al-Hujurat, wala tajassasu, do not spy. So this is an island with a lot of people who excel in spying. And then Jasasa pointed to a monastery. There's someone waiting to see you there. So they rushed to the monastery. <coughs> and there they found this young man, powerfully built, with curly hair. But there's no description about his eyes. His hands were chained to his neck. His feet were chained. And this man began to question Tamimudari and his companions. A number of very interesting questions. Could someone please send a copy of Jerusalem in the Quran for me? <coughs> a number of very interesting questions. But I don't have time to tell you all of them. And then he said, I, I am Dajjal. I am the Antichrist. And when I am released, so up to this moment he's not as yet released. And when I am released, thank you. I will enter every town and every city, including Tunapuna. But I will not be allowed to enter into Mecca and Medina because the angels will bar me. And so now we know, up to this moment in time, the Antichrist is not as yet released. But he is on an island, which is about one month's journey away from the Arab world, by sea. An island which has excellence in spying. And so now we know that when the message came from the Messenger of Allah, that Dajjal has been released. We know that it is in this island that he is going to be released. And it is